Jackie and it is Tuesdays with me. This week's topic is going to be books. LGBTQ in particular, but I don't read a lot of LGBTQ books, so I'll just show you some of them that I do read, because I read a lot. Obviously, like any good nerd, I can't pick any in the sun, but I have all the Twilights. And I even have the transcripts to her new book, Midnight Sun, which I'm not supposed to have, and it's actually Edward's perspective of Twilight. So, yeah, I'm a freaking dork. The book that I'm actually currently reading is Anne Rice. It's The Vampire Chronicles. It has the interview with the vampire, the vampire Lestat, and the Queen of the Damned. Um, so far, it's really, really good. I'm still on Interview with the Vampire just because I don't have a life, so I haven't had a lot of time to read. But um, it's amazing. I love Anne Rice's writing. I love vampire books. Um, someone is nonstop Facebook the shit out of me right now. Sorry. Anyways, um, about the Anne Rice books, I like them because they're a lot darker than a lot of like the vampire books that have been coming out. Like, yeah, everyone makes fun of Twilight because it's got like glittery vampires and shit, and vampires are supposed to light on fire. Yeah, I know. Um, but I love her books because they're dark and they're not just, ooh, the magic of being a vampire. Like, being a vampire can suck, and she like brings that out in being a vampire, how like lonely that existence can be. And I'm um, obsessed with vampires, so works out fine for me. Next book um, is another vampire series, of course. Um, it's by Char Charlene Harris, and um, this is just one of them. The cover's really retarded, but anybody who has seen the or heard of True Blood, the True Blood series is based on these books. This is her most recent book, Dead and Gone. It's um, the so the Stucky Sookie Stackhouse novels. They're amazing. They're um. They're more like mystery novels, and it's set in the South, and um, she has so many books. How many does she have? Hold on. Uh, oh, God. She has Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead to the World, Dead as a Doornail, Definitely Dead, Altogether Dead, From Dead to Worse, Dead and Gone. Dead and Gone is the most recent one. Um, really, really, really awesome books. Um, edge of your seat, don't want to put it down books. I love books that just keep me going, like... Uh, to the point where I'm up all night reading them. I love reading. I love books. I love everything about them because I can like escape into a world that is not so mundane as the life of day-to-day -day living. Um, yeah. So that's one of the other books. This is Skin Deep. It is actually an LGBTQ book. Um, it's amazing. I couldn't put it down. I loved it so much. Um, you should really read it. Skin Deep. It's a lesbian book. Obviously, there's lesbian erotica, there is same sex in the city, um, there's so many lesbian books, and a lot of them, in my opinion, are just terrible. They're just cheesy. I don't like them. But anyways, um, anyone in the world who likes to read needs to read this book. It's called The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and it is probably my favorite book on the face of the earth. Um, it's not big, it's a small book but it's a wealth of knowledge. It's about, in the ass, it's about 213 pages. Um, it's about this boy who writes to this random pen pal, um, doesn't know who the guy is, the guy has no return address to um, him, the kid's name is Charles, he like makes up a name for it. And he's just this very reclusive um, kid and he's also very sexually confused. He is confused in general about life. Um, it's amazing. And it's an LGBTQ book, like not entirely, there are, there's aspects of it that are very LGBTQ for, for sure. Like one of his best friends is a closeted gay guy. So, um, yeah. So, very good book to read. Um, another just book that I like to read, I know there's a bunch, I'm sorry, but you should read it, is The Giver. You might have read it in school, I did, um, I loved it. The Giver is an amazing, amazing book about the dangers of conformity and um, being controlled. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I've read it like five million times. Um, and then of course, Shakespeare Alive. I love Shakespeare. I have done 
Shakespearean plays. I've done Much Ado About Nothing. I've done Midsummer Night's Dream. I've done Romeo and Juliet. I've done Hamlet. I love Shakespeare. I have um, Shakespeare. Hold on, let me go get my book. I have this book right here. It's Much Ado About Nothing, and it's the Shakespeare's text on the left and um, the rendering, the English modern rendering on the right, so that you can better understand what you're reading. Um, I love Shakespeare. I'm such a Freaking nerd. Also, for the transgendered world, there is an amazing book called A Lonely Heart, and it is um, a true story about a transgendered journey. Um, if you haven't read it, you should. It's amazing. And for any really good book nerd like myself, there is this new thing called The Nook. You can look at Barnes and Nobles. Um, I actually got the pamphlet for it because I'm a fucking nerd. And basically you download books onto this thing and they look like they're on real pages and the books like you can buy them but a lot of them are like 80% off so you can get like a brand new hardcover for like 10 bucks instead of what you would normally pay for a brand new hardcover book and you don't have to wait and you can travel around with this um, anywhere that there is a cell phone signal the nook works so it's amazing and the only problem is it's like $250 whatever I want to get one really bad because I love to read. love 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 reading I don't know I've loved reading since I was a kid I always have and always will love reading I write all the time I'm such a writer I write everything I feel I write poems I write stories I have a journal from when I was like third grade of a story I was writing and it was like a personal journal of a girl in World War II. Yeah, like I used to do shit like that. Like I just love to read and write. Um, so yeah, I hope you look up those books that I showed you um, and enjoy. And I hope you enjoy reading as much as I do. So until next week, guys. Only thing better than books is lint peanut butter chocolate. Mm-hmm.